Guys, if you want to know what's trending in the creative industry, I mean the world of entertainment, all you have to do is to visit this channel, GET Network. You know, that's where we bring you all the updates in the creative industry. Now, I want to welcome you to this particular episode of Weekly Entertainment Trends on Ghana's number one entertainment channel, GET. My name still remains great, Jesse. You can simply call me Elolo. And make sure you like this video, you comment, and you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that. I'm moving straight to what I have for you today. Legendary music producer Hammer, who all know, brought up the likes of Sarko Die, Kaukesie, Edem, Tiny, and many more. According to him, saw a Facebook post of Red Eye of Too Tough. Who is running mad? Red Eye. We all know is a rapper back then in the 2000s who used to give us good music, like good music bangers like Miawezo, Tofi, and many other, you know, amazing and beautiful music. Now, according to Hama, they were able to send him to a rehab at Achimota and he's out there seeking for the public to help financially to bring this rapper back to normal. Okay, so uh, this is a quick video to update us on the Red Eye Too Tough issue. Uh, for the benefit of those who don't know, um, a few days ago, I think a week, uh, somebody put out a distress post on Facebook. Uh, for a call to action on Red Eye from Too Tough uh, Nature, basically, uh, about him being a very, in a very bad place, and if care wasn't taken, he would end up in a ditch. And uh, it, it really it was alarming. So uh, we took up some of us took up the task to find him. We ended up finding him near the fishing harbour at Tamanu Town and uh, we ambushed him and finally got him into a rehab in Achimota. The great thing about the rehab is that it has a studio in there. So that makes it great, you know, and so, uh, but however, there are bills to pay. So we are calling uh, on the industry, uh, whatever you can give out, Nia Takra from GhanaMusic.com is actually administering this whole thing. Uh, his number is 0244-844-234 and that is where you can send anything you can support with. Um, anything that you can help with, let's throw it as our brother. We don't want a kick it giant situation. We need, we need to uh, help ourselves and uh, Red Eye is a very talented guy. We can't let him go to waste. Whatever got him to that place it's not a problem. The problem is we need to get him out of that place. And th th that is what we are doing. Big up. Yeah, that was that was very sad. You know, our own rapper, um, Red Eye of Too Tough. We all pray and we hope that, you know, he gets well soon. Moving on to our next story, Black Rasta, who happens to be our own favorite Ghanaian reggae artist in fact he's the hit maker of barack obama and a media personality has come out to confirm that kwame fojo who is the ceo of global blueprint awards we all know him to be dr un black rasta come out to confirm that the guy has actually attended knust now we all saw an interview where delay you know asked him about his uh, educational background and made mention of you know going or attending KNUST and further uh, you know his education at Harvard University in the US now many people came out to say oh no that's false the man I've never been to KNUST and you know further his education to Harvard Black Rasta has come out to confirm that no this was my classmate or my classmate back then at KNUST that was not all that was can we all claim is fake that what he gave, uh, you know, um, the likes of Sarkodie, D Black, and the media personalities are fake. Black Rasta is saying this award is far better than the VGMA. I think that what we have to do is to support him to do it properly another time. You see, because he made one mistake, then you say, oh, cut him off, take him away. He had good intentions for the thing. Now, according to what he said, he did it to honor Kofi Annan. Yes. As to whether he said that the awards were UN awards, I do not know about that. But he said he did it to honor Kofi Annan, who he had met a number of times. Yeah. You see? So I think that people should just sit down with him. 
and encourage him to do the right thing. Instead of saying that he had good intentions, he gave people their awards, blah, 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 but he needed some kind of authenticity, so he put in the name of the UN, which was wrong if he said the awards were done by the UN. Now I think he has learned his lessons and he, he's made his name. He doesn't need to pull you and in there anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's move ahead and do his thing. He had, he had a good mind. He had a very good mind for the thing. I wanted the people. And he, he, you know, he never took money from the guys. He never took a penny from any one of them. Even some in his own ways, somebody like D Black wanted to pay him money. But he said no. According to him, according to the same Dr. U and Ojo. The, the guy we call Wycliffe, you know? Mm -hmm. That's what it is. All right. So, Black, you believe that we shouldn't tag his award as fake or a scam? No. We should rather support no. him. No. His awards would even be better than the VGMA, which is a useless award. This VGMA is a useless award because people are voting. They are buying. They are that's corrupt. Now, there was a comment coming from Black Rasta that Dr. UN's award is, is far better than VGMA. I want to know what you think about this particular statement by Black Rasta. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode of Weekly Entertainment Trends on Ghana's number one entertainment channel. My name still remains Great Jesse. You can simply call me um, Elolo. And make sure you like this video, you comment, you share, and you subscribe to the channel.